What's up guys? So, as I said in the last video, I'm going to get, hopefully, and by hopefully I mean definitely, that storage room done and we're going to start building this barn and I think, yeah, we'll, we'll get storage room done first, get it all sorted out, get everything put in there and then we'll get round to to this barn afterwards. Now there's not too much left in there, it's purely just doing little bits of decorating and lighting right so <laughs> we've encountered a uh, a somewhat slight issue I as you can see the, you know the little uh, storage area is starting to come along I was so nearly done but then out of nowhere I can't see him anymore actually which scares me even more out of nowhere a pillager sort of group just kind of appeared and now I'm really worried because I don't know where they've gone but they, they was literally right here and I did kind of want to kill him in order to get their uh, banner thing where could they have disappeared to I mean I <laughs> I promise it was definitely here, like literally right here. I doubt it would have gone by water. I mean, do we despawn? Is that something that happened? But the fact that they're here it kind of worries me because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to be just getting on my business one day and all of a sudden, boom, Pillager's is going to shoot me in the back of the head. And we have not got time for that sort of stuff right for now it looks like they've uh, ran away they must have known that my minecraft powers were too great right let's get rid of this creeper and then I'll I'll show you a little update on, blow up. there we go right so this is what we got with the storage room so far again not done but I think it's probably where we're going to leave it for for today in terms of just the storage room. We're going to start working on that barn. I did say I'd get the storage room done. However, I currently can't purely because of the uh, item frames. My cows just need time to keep breeding really so I can kill a few off, get enough item frames to cover it. Once that's done, then I'm happy to go ahead. But I started... Um, sort of putting stuff in the chest obviously you can see some of marks out outward for example um, however I started doing work on here and I realized that if I started doing this all the way around I'm not gonna know where anything is and it's gonna take what three four times longer than it would if I didn't have the uh, the item frames on so like I say right now we're gonna leave that part at least until I'm off camera and then sort of off camera come next episode I'll show you guys what I've done to sort of finish it up and add the detail but this is, this is the main the main sort of thing it is a bit odd because of the the dimensions I again need to terraform this a bit but my choices were I could have had this just that sort of middle bit open as a door but I would have had to terraform literally like an entire mountain's worth and bring it down to make it look natural like that would have been possibly five to ten hours of work which I don't mind doing that sort of stuff you know I, I enjoy it but then I figured in that time I can get so much more done and maybe if that's oh we got a trident there we go oh, it's the second one we got yeah and as I was saying if that's the sort of thing I was gonna do it'd be done over a sort of period of time rather than all at once um, so yeah for now like I say I'll terraform this top bit a little bit I need to sort of bring it all up but for now this is what I've gone with so it does look a bit weird how there's one of the three sort of things is filled in the others aren't but it can always be edited it can always be changed and you know I'm, I'm fairly happy with it these are just hiding light for now once I get redstone lamps I will come in and, and change that obviously these are a bit annoying poking out but yeah like I say I'm happy with it I've got a little sort of crafting 
furnace area because the amount of times I'll come in and check my chest for example and think oh I, I need five iron I've only got four so quickly smelt some up that's no issue but yeah I'm happy with it I just need to kind of add signs bits of detail here and there and like I say next episode I'll start off by showing that the finished sort of result and uh, yeah maybe a little plant there a little cactus is what I want out of my absolute favourite stick and plant pots but that's what we've got for now so I hope you guys enjoy that so what we're going to work on next is right over here is the barn so I'm going to do it in a similar style to this in terms of the roof but I'm thinking different materials all the same I, I know oak and cobblestone are very samey it's very starter game materials but I actually think about it, I quite like it I think if I do all these starting areas in would well, start an area I should say in cobblestone and oak nice and simple but I think that'll make it look like a nice little village because we've got what one two you know three buildings over there sort of five more little buildings here to do so yeah I think I'll do it out of their materials and then use sort of better you know different types of wood on other builds in other places but yeah that's that's my idea so what we're gonna do first of all we need to see if we've actually got any oak wood actually I had 30 or so so the barn is gonna like I say basically be the same as that so for the foundation I guess we'll have maybe bring it man that witch is scaring me I feel like it's under do I jump in do we risk it oh god oh god oh god oh god oh my god Oh, maybe we should stick a. I kind of wish I had some more light. That's fine. Is this going to take us down to like one health? What does she have on her? A bit of glowstone. You know, I'll, I'll take it, not for this much use. Man, I'm gonna. I must have forgot to light this one up. Ooh, that was a, um, a scary thing to do. It's that poison that gets you every time. Oh, now I'm going to have to fill that in. Uh, let me just grab... There and there. Right. So, yeah, maybe if we put one there... Let's try not to die. Put one there. I like the length. I... How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen. I mean, it's very long, but obviously it's going to be split in the middle, and then each side is going to be for an animal. So, yeah, I mean, I, I like, I like pretty much where I put the the grass in the first place, actually, or the, the dirt, I should say. And then, like I say, the roof, we go in sort of triangular there. And then splitting up in the middle and then having a nice little bit of decoration inside. In terms of height, obviously we don't both have to be the same. You know, that's not what I'm going for. I don't just know one building and <laughs> boom, that's a building you stick with. We do want to just check though because... I do want to go one taller than this. One, two, three, four. Right, we're going to go five high on the sort of legs or the, the corner. So one, two, five, and then people are going to get mad at me for that. Oh, God, <laughs> that's embarrassing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so yeah, one taller than that one. I want it to be a little bit more grand, and I'm going to do it in the same roof style, but I think I'm going to... Do I alternate roofs? Or do I do a full... sort of cobble roof? Hmm. You know what? I've got an idea for a roof. It's just about whether or not it'll pay off. 
So let's mark out where the sort of center of this is. Is that the center? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. No. So them two would be the center. So then that would leave plenty of space for the horse or whatever to come in. So let's just build these up. Is that even? I'm no it's not but that's fine we can add to that so I'll get some more oak and then we're basically just gonna do that around the top so we know what we're doing so with the sort of ring the, the structure around the top which is always super useful to do by the way you, I like to start the builds in pretty much a square rectangle you know the foundation, you know what you can build off and then you can add shape from there so with that on I think I'm then going to detail it a little bit more I mean do we go that all the way round or do we go, no that looks too sort of one coloured I suppose we could do like that and then oak planks I guess would work yeah oh yeah it matches that kind of style over there so that's what we'll go with around there around this back bit again they're going to be separated anyway sort of come here so I guess we'll go up like we did on the house as well with that at the back and then split this up one of them like that yeah that looks fine so with it like that we will be filling in quite a bit actually with solid blocks we'll save that much for now because I'm not going to put windows in necessarily I'm going to use a few different sort of ideas so we'll go around with the planks real quick just to separate it a bit and again as I say on every build it can always be changed you don't have to stick with something once you've got it and now all I'm going to do is start layering the roof on like I did that one the only difference being I'm going to use different grey textured blocks instead of the sort of separation between uh, the sort of wood and cobblestone so it's all going to be grey but with a bit of a, a difference you, you'll understand what I mean in a minute so I'll get that done and then I'll be back with you guys right so I hope you guys are ready. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to show you the idea I ended up going for. Boom. I love the way it looks. I've done the roof with cobblestone, uh, stone bricks, andesite, and normal stone. And I think it looks really good. As you can see, I've gone the same style as this one. So around the outside, I've used wood. Because if it was all grey, it would look basically like one huge grey blob which we don't want so I've broken up with that but the roof the cobblestone kind of makes it look like it's cracked over time which which I just think is great now we just need to do like we did in the other one a little bit of detailing on on these bits which I'll more than likely do off camera when I get a sec and also adding in some windows but instead of actual windows we're going to be using an idea that probably everyone knows at this point it's nothing um, particularly special where are my sticks spruce fence the reason I'm using spruce instead of something like oak is just to give it a bit of a difference but this was my idea is to use uh, what is it fences instead of glass just to give it a more I guess sort of old barn kind of look 
I guess up here we can have some kind of storage for maybe horse armors, saddles, stuff like that. It's just a, a place to store it. I guess might work okay. Um, this will, I'm guessing, yeah, this is going to have to be glass. Now it's just about the detailing on it. But again, I'll detail this and add the glass next to episode, I think. For now, I just want to get this certainly the insides looking right and I don't know if I like the look of it actually I just really wanted to use the walls but I don't know I'll tell you what let me know in the comments if you guys think that's right because I can either do that or the same but with spruce fences which will give it a little bit more sort of see through ability if that's even a word which I <laughs> highly doubt it is now for the floor I'm thinking maybe make it look a little bit trodden in sort of places on either side maybe there and there and then one there and then we've got a water bucket as well so let's just in one of them I don't want to overdo it actually is uh we can make a cauldron instead and have it as almost like a oh what are they called um them, them things that but horses drink out of it like metal things I'm, I'm sure someone knows i should know i used to uh used to be around horses so i <laughs> i probably should know but We'll go make a cauldron. What do you need for a cauldron? Is it just iron? Please tell me it's just iron. It'll end up being like 12 iron buckets or something. Iron buckets? Why would it be? <laughs> what a weird recipe. 12 iron buckets. Oh, we would need two though, wouldn't we? One for either side, I guess. Unless I want to just starve one. I'm actually going to put that cap on in a minute. Uh, I can use that as well. Where did my iron go? Oh, it's right there. Right, let's I'll shove that on quick. Just gives us a, what was it, half a thing of protection? It's better than no things of protection, I guess. Uh, where's my plant pot as well? I wanted to put it down here. Boom, look at that. Beautiful. Right. We're feeling we're feeling happy. I'm you know, I'm happy with this build. Overall, it's still quite a bit to do, but this episode especially, we have really cracked on. Like basically two builds done. Can I colour that? Oh my goodness you can. Wow. That is look to you guys this ain't gonna seem major. You think about the creative possibilities you can do with coloured water that is that's where we have got to use that in a future video you know what, i'm going to dye in both pink or magenta as it says as you think about it, no 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 we won't put them there or do we i kind of thought it would look good here maybe if we make two more and have two either side and it would look like a big you know, we'll leave it as it is for now. I might move them over. But that is so cool. The fact that you can have pink water. What happens if, for example, I now take the water out? Is it just standard? All oh, right, it's just standard. We'll have to dye them. I will change them from pink. But that is uh, that's crazy. I did not realise. I thought it was a mod video that I'd watched. But that is so cool. Definitely, like I say, use that in future. So. All we need now, I guess we can use some of these posts. We've put a couple of posts on. I don't have to make a whole other post. That's going to be. Unless, actually, let's get rid of these. Put one there. And then there. And I did make some chains for the lanterns. However,. The problem with lanterns is, you know, they look so much better than torches, don't get me wrong. You can actually use them in builds now to add detail and character. Um, the issue is, if I had a chain, if I can find it, there they are, right. And then let's also get some stuff for 
torches. Let's put some of this rubbish away while we're at it. Right, so what is it we need for torches? It's just iron, I believe. Who knows where I've put all this iron. So, my general idea was that either have lanterns placed on these, because I don't like lanterns just kind of sitting there. So, lanterns placed there, and possibly as well, yeah, that would look nice. It's weird seeing chains and stuff in the game, because they're such a odd block, I guess, you know, because they... They have a hitbox, but they're so tiny. There's nothing like this in the game, apart from maybe iron fences. But yeah, I think if we had one hanging off each of them, possibly even on all of the sides. Completely wrong place, that's fine. Alright, let's go to sleep quick. But that was the idea, so it's all about little things to add detail. I also am going to, just to finish off this episode, plan out the path. So the way I'm going to do my path is a mix of gravel. See, this is why I need to get the storage room done. It will be done next episode. I said it, like I say earlier, it'd be done 100%. But uh, it's just them cows, it just seems to take years to grow up and I don't want to kill them all when uh, you know when I haven't got enough right gravel oak and I've got a spade on me or a shovel I guess I should say but this is the idea after I've killed this skeleton come on attack me bro boom don't even know this is what I mean about shields look like, how much of the shield have I got left? I've, I've got tons. You could just sit there and just let the skeleton kill himself. No issue. Shields. OP. Right, so my idea is... Very roughly, this is gonna... This is probably gonna take a lot more time than anything else because I need it to look so good. I see some people either go crazy and just turn it into path like straight line all the way to a house which can look fine but I like to make mine look kind of suggestive so it, you know you know there is a path there but it's not so far in your face so it's just about figuring out whereabouts you want to add these things so maybe here we could do a double one there and this is the bit that I will have to do off camera quite a bit more because it takes so much time just trying to perfectly do it unperfectly if that makes sense you know because it wants to look as natural as can be but at the same time you know that you've done this by hand so it's kind of unavoidable that there's going to be bits that look purposely placed down and that is the real trick and some people could do this a lot better than me uh, people like Scar uh, Good Times with Scar he is incredible at uh, landscapes and stuff like that well, one of the the best I've ever seen you know he can make these crazy landscapes look so natural and real right but this is what I mean so with the gravel and oak it looks a bit weird but for an actual path when you walk in it details it so nicely obviously gravel is is kind of a path block anyway um, but the oak just accents it really well so what I'll do, obviously I can't have gravel there unless I add. Right, so let's go round and just add in the oak first. Like that, and then we'll add gravel. Like I say, don't worry, some of these bits are going to look odd at the start, but off camera we'll, uh, you know, I'm going to have to go replace that at some point, but that's fine. God, we're just jumping there, nothing's happening. <laughs> but that's the idea, you know what? I love that. I think that is really cool. If you look at it from a distance, it. 
imagine if you're coming into a village and you come in and you you sort of need to know where to go and you you know you've you've done whatever and you need to know your general path you know it sets out it's not too in your face it sets out the direction that you need to go and you just know I will like I say have to come in I'm gonna move the uh, poor old Bruno's grave because he's probably been trodden on about 50 times yeah sorry Bruno but yeah we will come round and I will tighten it all up and make it a little bit more more clear to see but like areas like this little bit especially I love just every now and again there's little bits and we're also going to add as the final sort of touch let's get just a couple of oak buttons if we can every now and again we'll add almost like a, a pebble or that sort of thing just for a bit of accenting have I got rid of that bit yeah I like that all them mixed together yep that's what I like so let's quickly sleep and then we're also just uh, completely I'm pretty sure I said that was to finish the episode but to really finish the episode like 100% what do you mean I can go to sleep at night it's most definitely night time Man, this game, I tell you. I guess we won't be sleeping, Ed. So, next episode is going to consist of finally, like, finishing this. So, all we need to do is add the lighting. So, off camera, we'll get some iron. Add the lighting. Add some glass. And that's it. So, <laughs> that's done. My God. Be careful, dude. Go on, jump a day. Give you a five or if you jump. Oh! He needs to, you know, seriously be careful. He's he's a dangerous pig. Right, and then we also need to just finish off this. But again, these cows need to hurry up and learn to grow up quicker. Once we've done that, boom. And I think then the main task of next episode after doing these tiny little projects which won't take long we need to terraform this a little bit better and possibly add a bridge I don't know whether or not to keep it as grass but just make it look natural so bringing it all the way down and making it look good or completely get rid of it and add a bridge now I will admit I'm not the best at bridges so who knows how that will go but that's the idea and then finish maybe a path if it is a bridge and whatnot. and then after that episode we can start off on other projects I think maybe should we say the never I think because we do need to get to the never there's obviously certain things there that are hugely important especially towards redstone so yeah next episode definitely get that done finish these and then we'll go to the nether but the final 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 thing is to check the board I completely forgot about this for a while but we're just gonna kinda of check it and let's have a look villager breeder explore so we can get rid of explore we've obviously done that animal farm we still need to do veg farm done that one as well terraform town light up light up's actually quite important I I haven't actually looked the area too well that would be fine paths no not 100% and storage not 100% so to add to this we will put on shall we say never So we've got never and then what should we say we need also an enchantment area which we're going to have to set up a sugarcane farm for first so I will just write sugarcane and boom right that's it 
that's it for this episode guys I, I do hope you enjoyed like I say the, these episodes do take a, a fair few hours you, you wouldn't really you wouldn't really think it but off camera is obviously a lot more work than there is on camera but I'm super happy with what we've got and again all, all your support and, and everything you know I always get nice comments or you know when I see that one day I've got a like or something I think oh you know that's great someone's enjoyed it so thank you guys as always and stay safe I'll see you next time